Good morning. <laughs> Me and Zenia just got up. Yeah. And it's a little dark in here. So we're going to go ahead and open up some windows and let some sunshine in. It's been a little cold outside and very, very windy. Hello world. Oh, I'm freaking what? <laughs> it's so windy out today. <laughs> so I don't know what we're gonna do today, but <laughs> now um, this place that I park, there's like a community of us. <laughs> I used to live in my car here for like, yeah, off and on for like five years. And um, there's like a parking lot full of people that live here, basically. Yeah. Um, you know, there's people in their vans. Right now, nobody's really here because a lot of the people that camp here um, actually have jobs and like go work. <laughs> oh my God, it's so windy. <laughs> So, I woke up a little later than normal people because they, they wake up at like 6 and go to work and it got really, really cold last night and I went and got the Mr. Body Heater here and I ran the whole tank for about 5 hours or so. Um. But since my roof isn't insulated yet, it didn't stay very warm. <laughs> I mean, it put off a good amount of heat. Um, but then it cut off on me, and <laughs> we had to um, we had to cuddle because it was really cold last night. <laughs> so um, I sorry I look crazy. So we're gonna make some coffee. So this is gonna be my first coffee experience in the van. Um, so I made hot tea last night in this thing. So I'm just gonna kinda clean it out a little bit and take this water and heat it up on my little kettle majigger and use that to wash up a little bit. Alright, so I've got my little makeshift sink in jigger. <laughs> and I heated up some water. I don't know if I heated it up a lot, but I didn't want to like <laughs> scorch my face. So. <laughs> the geese out here are like, huh? <laughs> so. I'm not really sure what we're going to do today, but we'll figure that out as it comes. I've never used one of these French presses before, so I don't want to go crazy with it.
and let there be caffeine. <laughs> All right, all right. Got a little bit of French vanilla creamer. Not bad. And then in my kitchen over here, I have this giant thing of sugar. <laughs> It looks a lot more than it is. Don't judge me. Some good coffee. For making it in a van with a kettle and a French press. It's not bad. <laughs> now, I think I should get a little bit of cleaning done. <laughs> because when you live in a van... The things that are up here need to go down here because things fly and I'm a very careful driver and I do really slow turns but if there's even anything like misplaced it's gonna be on the floor so I have my cooler there's no ice in it Wow Stay. there's no ice in it but um, I'm just using it for whatever. Um, so I get my storage ottoman to go under the bed to put all my crap in. I have to find room for other crap. <laughs> and I have a lot of crap. Like, la the laundry basket is big and I don't know where to put it. So this is like my little kitchen drawer right here. Put the creamer back in the cooler. In the cooler. And then we got our little makeshift sinky majiggy. And you're actually sitting on my toilet right now. <laughs> now I'm not really sure what I should do with these grounds here. Okay, I have a trash can. <laughs> dirty, dirty grounds. Ugh. Oh, this is a pain in the butt to clean. Jeez. Alright. So I'm going to clean this. Alright, so I think I'm probably going to try to get ready. I cleaned up a little bit. And I have my little mirror and my my makeup stuff. So I'm going to try to not look like this. I'm probably not going to do anything like too crazy today. Because why should I? I don't see anybody during the day. And I don't really go anywhere. But to take the dog out. Because it's like so cold and windy out. So, there's kind of no point in putting makeup on. But I'm not, like, a big makeup person anyway. Like, I don't wear foundation or that whatever that crap is. <laughs> I don't think I've even put any kind of, like, stuff on my actual face since I was, like, 15. <laughs> um, I had really bad acne growing up. So, I refuse to put things on my face. Because they make me break out. And I'm like almost 32 now. <laughs> and I just now kind of stopped breaking out. Like I just woke up and found this thing. And I was like. Aah! Kill it. Get it off. So. No makeup. And I really don't even think that I need to put a shadow on. Because my eyes are pretty enough. Wow, that was really cocky. Sorry, that sounded bad. Yeah, so like I said, it was kind of rough sleeping last night. Because it was so cold out. Um, the first day of spring was like two days ago, but we had like this cold front. And I just moved from Michigan. If y'all don't know about that, because I'm pretty sure if you've seen any of my videos, you know that I lived in Alaska and I lived in Michigan, but I'm actually from Virginia. So I came back down to Virginia from Michigan thinking it's gonna be like so much warmer because the weather was telling me it was like 60 here and like 10 there and I get here and we get a cold front and I'm like just my luck but um 
I think tomorrow and Monday are supposed to be, like, like, uh, back in the 70s or something like that, so I'm like, yay, but I've never seen the wind so bad before, I'm like, <laughs> I'm only, like, a hundred and some pounds, and, like, um, I walk outside, and I'm, like, holding on for my life, like, no, <laughs> So I have come to realize that when you live in a van, you have to clean every day. Everything that you use, like a spoon or whatever, I have <clears throat> paper plates, which normally I would absolutely refuse to use because I'm like a huge environmentalist or like um, save the trees. <laughs> um, but my grandfather did pass away. I don't know if you guys have seen any of my other videos, but... My grandfather died, the house that I grew up in, we had to clean it out. So anything and everything that I thought was like savable, I took, which included like a huge stack of napkins that were unopened. Um, I had like a full thing of laundry detergent that was sitting there, paper plates, um, all kinds of stuff. And I was like, okay, well, I'm just gonna take them because they're gonna get thrown in the trash. So. But anything that you use, you have to clean up, like, right away. You ha I, like, every spoon I use, I clean right away and I put it back. Because you can't just throw a bunch of dishes in a, in a sink and, and wash them later because you live in a van. So, um, and it was kind of a bummer because I got all this cool stuff from my grandfather's house. Like, a little crock pot. I went and bought, a, like, a little coffee pot, a water kettle, um, a bunch of electronic stuff. I have, like, two electric heaters. Well, the Jackery battery that I have won't run any of it. <laughs> so that sucks. So I had to go buy the Mr. Buddy heater, and then I had to go get a propane, like a little single stove. Um, so those were a little bit of like a setback, but there's a bunch of stuff that the Jackery battery does run, um, which includes my TV. So that was really cool because I have an antenna and I just literally stuck it outside of the window last night. And I sat here last night with my heater and I watched TV and I drank hot tea and it was pretty freaking awesome. Not even gonna lie. Um, so the Jackery battery does run a lot. It charges my cell phone all night long, your laptop, it runs this electric light that I have up here um, and all kinds of stuff. Like I have the little LED lights. Ah! I'm so sorry. Are you okay? So, since I haven't done the roof yet, I've only put two up. I have six, but I have these. Um, they come with a remote. Oh, and you can change it to like 10%, 80%, 100%. You could put it on a timer. You could like literally turn it down. <laughs> so, they're pretty cool. There are six of those. Um, because a couple days ago, it was like completely dark in here. So I'm going to go ahead and make the bed, which is covered in dog toys and crap. Um, and I'm going to take out the trash and all that other stuff. But I'm going to get some laptop work done today. Now I'll tell you, it is kind of hard traveling with a dog. <laughs> because I feel like she went from being in an apartment into a van into a very small space. So she doesn't really get the runaround time that she's used to. And I just feel bad for her because she's always bored. And she's got all these toys and stuff. She's got a nice big bed in here. But there's just not a lot of room, you know. We're in a we're in a small space, which is kind of cluttered right now. So, if you have a dog and you live in a van, make sure that you give them a lot of outdoor running time. But unfortunately, the last couple days, I think that she's been a little depressed because it's been really, really cold and really windy and she's kind of miserable outside. And, I mean, she was in an apartment for like six months because it snowed every day. Um, and she would literally go outside to the bathroom and then come right back in, so. But she was used to having the space to run around in, which she's not now, so... It's kind of like you just have to really make time to make sure that your dog is happy if you have a dog. Ah, this traffic is so bad though. <laughs> time to do some work on this Cicada. So I'm at Starbucks and I just watched this girl hit my van. 
<laughs> she has absolutely no idea how to bow out of a parking spot. Not at all. She has absolutely no idea what she's doing. She's just hit my van twice. <laughs> so, yeah, my, my van got a little dented up, but she looked like she was really struggling. So I went over there and I asked her if she needed help and I got in and I backed her truck out for her. She seemed really young, like a really young girl. But I got a nice little dent in my van now from her smashing into my van. So that was interesting. <laughs> So after our little hit and run experience, we've decided to go on a walk around this. Well, you can't really see. So I, I stopped where all the trees were. Um, so we're going on a little walk. It's really windy out. But I ended up helping that girl back out of the space. And yeah, she put a nice dent in my van, but hey, it is what it is. We'll pop it out. So we're going to go on a little walk and then we're going to head um, to Lowe's to get some styrofoam ceiling to put up. We'll see how that goes. I'm go ahead and cut this video because it's getting kind of long. So thanks for hanging out with us this morning slash afternoon.